just been played um, three songs that are going to be on, on your next LP. I wonder if you could talk to me a little bit about a couple of those. Paint a Vulgar Picture. Mm. Which is really, I expect, uh, touches upon what we've just mentioned about the music, music industry and the, the rather, um, the very sour elements of it. Which paint of Olga picture is about how the death of a pop star is treated generally by record companies, and how they tend to become very, um, they tend to um, utilise the death and exploit the person. And I find that really sad. It's never really done in a very touching and a very um, passionate way. It's always very gaudy, very cheap, very nasty, tending to really milk the whole situation. And also, people, I think, audiences generally tend to. When a person dies, it, it throws a different uh, coloration on that person's career. And we tend to generally appreciate people a little bit more. Obviously, we're quite sad because they've died. But, um, so there's several angles. We tend to be a little bit, um, audiences, I think, generally tend to be a little bit um, uh, applauding, a bit generous. And record companies, I find, tend to be a little bit vicious. Does this, I mean, or do the lyrics of the song apply to any particular hero of yours? Well, not really directly. There have been some. There have been people I, I have liked immensely who have died, such as Mark Boland and others. But really, uh, I think it's generally quite common. It's a very common occurrence that when somebody dies, there's this awful, um, awful nauseating, scrambling for, to uh, squeeze the legend, really. In the song, there's, there's the memory of a fan, it's one encounter with that hero. Is that, is that you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. When I was much younger, I used to um, go to sound checks and hang around at the hang, hang around concert halls and try to meet people at you know midday, things like that. So uh, yes, that memory is there for me really. When I met certain people, it was very, very important to me. It was a lasting memory.